Removing the wreck of the Costa Concordia cruise liner which sank off the Italian island Giglio in January 2012 is a specialist operation. Two companies, one Italian and the other American, are spearheading the project which could take until 2014 to complete. The first stage involves anchoring and stabilizing the ship using cables to attach turrets to the vessel. This is designed to stop the liner from slipping along the seabed. Next, a false bottom is created by filling the empty space between the rocks on which the wreck is resting with cement-filled bags. Six platforms, three large and three small, are then mounted. Crates, which later serve as floats, are welded to the port side. The vessel is slowly hoisted up onto the false seabed using cables. This part of the operation, which takes a couple of days, is particularly delicate as the hull must not be damaged. Once the starboard side emerges from the water, a new line of crates is attached. The hull is now resting on the false base at a depth of some 30 meters. As the water is released from the crates, the ship floats upwards. Finally, it can be towed to a port where it will most likely be dismantled.